Ulrika Johnson has branded former lover Sven Goran Eriksson not a decent person as she broke her silence after he revealed that he was dying of terminal cancer. The TV presenter, 56, took to Instagram yesterday evening to share a brief post after the former England manager, 75, revealed the devastating news. She shared a throwback photograph of herself on her stories and insisted she didn't have anything to say about Sven and branded him not a decent person in an accompanying caption. The post, which has since been deleted, read, look at me being all young all that. So, PSA, I don't have anything to say about Sven. Hashtag not a, not a decent person. Earlier in the day, Ulrika had been seen out in public for the first time since Sven's diagnosis was revealed as she visited the shops in Wallingford, Oxfordshire. Sven had been with Italian lawyer Nancy Delolio for three years when they moved to England for his job as team manager. But by the start of 2002, he had embarked on an affair with fellow Swede Ulrika. She later wrote of their fling, I carried on my pursuit for love, pausing briefly for a fumble under the covers with the nearly 60-year-old Sven Goran Eriksson. Remember him, the former England football manager. Yes, I am also trying to forget it because sex was about as exciting as assembling an Ikea bookcase, which is what makes my argument for a younger man inescapably convincing. Nancy has also spoken out following his devastating diagnosis and admitted she had no idea how unwell he was. The lawyer, who had a 10-year relationship with Sven, said she knew he was ill but had no idea of his devastating condition. The glamorous Italian, who left her husband Giancarlo Massa for the coach, was a constant by his side and was pictured with him at several tournaments. Nancy, 62, who is in Italy following the recent death of her mother, said, I didn't think 2024 would open with more bad news. I knew that Sven was ill, but it hurts so much to hear this. It's a really negative moment. In September, my mother died and I can't get over this loss. It's like having an open wound that instead of healing keeps getting worse. Sven's announcement was devastating. I knew he wasn't well, but hearing his words, really, life can be cruel. On Wednesday, Sven tragically revealed he feared he only had a year to live after his pancreatic cancer diagnosis last year, which was discovered following a fall and five small strokes. Speaking to the BBC World Service's Sporting Witness program, he said, Well, I thought I was fully healthy, but suddenly I got like a stroke, small strokes, so I fall. My children took me to the hospital and after one day of examination, they told me that I got five small strokes, but that's okay. They said, no problem, you will recover 100% from that. But worse is they said you have cancer which we can't operate and we will give you treatment, medicine and you'll live as long as possible. But I have that diagnosis and they can't operate it. When you get a message like that, I think you appreciate every day and you're happy when you wake up in morning and you feel okay. So that's what I'm doing. He also spoke to Sweden's P1 radio station and said, Everyone understands that I have an illness that is not good. Everyone guesses it's cancer and it is. But I have to fight as long as I can. 